Hi everyone, my name is Eve from Headspace and I'm really excited we've partnered with Depop to bring you a guided meditation focused on kindness and compassion. If you've used Headspace before, you might recognize my voice from some of the meditations, but please don't worry if you haven't done any or much meditation before. We'll guide you through each step of the way. But hopefully this is a chance to help you pause, reset, and to take some time to be kind to your mind for the next 15 minutes or so. I will just say that I'm at home doing this, so please excuse any noises or knocks that you might hear. I hope wherever you're watching or listening to this, that you, your family, your friends are safe and well. We are all going through this situation together, but our own individual circumstances will be different depending on where we are, who we're with and what we're doing. May is Mental Health Awareness Month, so it's a really great opportunity to take some time for ourselves, to take some time to be kind to our minds, which will not only benefit our physical health, but also our mental health as well. And the recent global health crisis has really highlighted the importance of both of these things. I think right now it's very easy to get caught up in feelings of worry, of anxiety, of uncertainty about the situation and about what the future holds. Please know that however you're feeling, whatever you're feeling right now is completely normal and okay. We are all going to be processing this in our own way and at our own pace and we'll very likely feel a whole range of emotions. But if we are spending too much time rushing ahead to the future or staying stuck in the past, we are not in the present moment. We are not able to be there for ourselves and for those people around us. We might not realize it, but we spend so much time caught up in thinking, not in the present moment. And the meditation we're going to do in a few moments is a really great way to train the mind in awareness and compassion. We're training the mind to be more present, to be calmer, to be kinder to not only ourselves, but those people around us. If we're able to be more present, we're able to listen more. We're perhaps able to see or hear if someone we know is struggling. Then we're able to hopefully help them. So meditation can't necessarily change what is happening around us, but it can help us to relate to it in a different way, to take a different perspective, to be calmer, to be kinder, to be more at ease, less stressed. It can even help us to sleep better, which I think right now is incredibly important, not only for our physical health, but also our mental health as well. So just know that when you do a meditation, you're not only benefiting yourself, but you're also benefiting those people around you as well. So with that in mind, Let's get settled for the meditation. First of all, if you haven't done already, if you can find a quiet spot in your house or wherever you are, I appreciate lots of us are going to be sharing our space with other people at the moment. So perhaps just let them know that you're going to be doing a meditation. You could even ask them to join you as well. You can sit in a chair like I'm doing just make sure that you have both legs uncrossed, so feet are on the floor, and you can just rest your hands in your lap. Alternatively, you can take a cushion and sit cross-legged on the floor. Just make sure that your hips are slightly raised so that it supports your lower back. And before we get started, lots of people think that in order to meditate, we have to completely clear the mind of all thoughts and feelings. So that's actually really hard to do. In meditation, what we're doing is we're learning to be okay with the mind however it is. We're not trying to push thoughts away or chase after them. So if the mind, if your mind is very busy today, if there's lots of thoughts around for you, please know you're not doing anything wrong. That is just how the mind is today. And as much as possible, just let the process unfold in its own time. The mind will settle in its own way and at its own pace. 
So hopefully you are comfortable. If you're sat on a chair or on the floor, just making sure you have nice relaxed shoulders. And I'd like you to just place your gaze about two to three feet in front of you. So just staring slightly down at a spot in front of you, but just taking in the space around you. So not staring too intently, but just taking a nice soft focus. And start by taking a couple of big deep breaths, breathing in through the nose, and out through the mouth. So as you breathe in, feeling the lungs expand. And as you breathe out, feeling the body soften and relax. So just one more breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And you can just gently close the eyes. And in closing the eyes, in having paused, having stopped, just taking a moment to acknowledge that in doing this meditation, it will not only hopefully benefit you, but those people around you as well. And in having paused, just becoming aware of your physical senses. So the feeling of your body pressing down on the seat or the floor beneath you. The feet on the floor, the hands just in your lap. Starting to notice any sounds around you. Just allowing them to come and go. And just bringing the attention, your focus in to the body and just using it as an opportunity to check in with how the body's feeling today. Often very busy rushing around, we don't often get the chance to acknowledge how we're feeling. Whether there's a sense of tiredness around, some tension, Perhaps the body is feeling restless, or it might be just feeling very still. Really just taking this as an opportunity to acknowledge how both the mind and the body are feeling. There's no right or wrong answer. Really just connecting the mind and the body together. And in checking in with the body and acknowledging how the body feels, you may already have become aware of the movement of the breath in your body. So we're just going to place our attention on the breath, that rising and falling movement. Some people feel it in the stomach, some people in the diaphragm, even the chest. And you can just place your hand on your stomach if you find that easier. But just identifying where you feel that movement of breath. It's okay if it's very faint, very soft. We're just going to follow each breath. So following that natural rhythm as you breathe in and out through the nose. Don't worry if the mind wanders off perfectly normal. The moment you realize you've been caught up in thinking, just acknowledging it, letting it go and coming back to the breath again. Coming back to that rising 
and falling movement. If it helps, you can just count the breaths as they pass. One with a rising sensation, two with a falling sensation, and three and four, just up to a count of 10 and starting again at one. So just try that on your own now, just for a few moments, following the natural rhythm of the breath. moment you realize you've been distracted, just acknowledging it, letting the thought go and coming back to the breath again. Enjoying having nothing to do, nowhere to be, giving ourselves some space, time to unwind, sense of kindness. Don't worry if the mind keeps wandering off, it's perfectly normal, just acknowledging you've been distracted and gently bringing the attention back to the breath again. And just for a moment, letting go of any focus on the breath. Letting go of any focus on any distractions or any, any noises and just allowing the mind to be completely free. If it's been wanting to think, just let it think. Just giving it the space to do whatever it wants just for a few moments. And just starting to become aware of your physical sensations again, your posture, how you're sat. The feeling of the body pressing down against the chair or the floor. Your hands just resting in your lap. Starting to become aware of any sounds around you just coming back in to the space. And then when you're ready in your own time, you can just gently open the eyes again. If you can, just pause before getting up, taking a moment to acknowledge how you feel. Perhaps it's different than before the exercise. Acknowledging that that not only hopefully benefited you, but hopefully those people around you, for you to have a greater sense of awareness, kindness, of compassion to not only yourself, but those around you as well. I really hope you enjoyed getting some headspace. If you would like to try some more meditation, some more mindfulness, head on over to headspace.com. We actually have a free collection of content available at the moment called Weathering the Storm. There's exercises there to help with stress, to help with sleep. There's even exercises to help you get some movement in your day as well. 
And finally, if you or anyone that you know works within the NHS, Headspace is currently available for free. So head on over to headspace.com to find out more details, share it with anyone that you know that it applies to. Thank you so much for joining this session. I really hope you enjoyed getting some headspace and that you feel a greater sense of calm and ease either into your day or into your evening. Thank you so much, take care and stay safe.